Welcome, it's Mr. Alcorn here again with our grade 910 general physical science and of course I'm using the textbook exploring creation with physical science and today I want us to start a whole new module module number seven and this one is on weather of all things and of course we know weather affects us all it affects everything in the environment and our fellow creatures, animals, plants, and so on. And one of the things that people like to talk about the most, you'll notice as you're getting older, is the weather. So Module 7, weather, and a bit of climate thrown in there too as well. Now as we look at this module, it starts on page 157. That's page 157. And then I want you to turn from there get familiar with that. Already you will have received an email with the assigned reading, so you should be familiar with this. Then you turn to page 160, number 160, and you'll see at the top a nice illustration of clouds. You should have studied that by now, right? Good. And then at the bottom, experiment 7.1. And this is a an experiment that is a long-term experiment, but when I say that, two weeks for this phase and a week after with the next module, eight. But the trade-off is the good one in this sense, that this is the only experiment for this module. And module eight only has two experiments, the finishing of this one being part of that. So I want you to think about that and uh, so you plan and as you go ahead and do these things. So this experiment here really is about tracking weather data. And if you look from the bottom of page 160, go up to 161 at the top, and look down to where my finger is, and you're going to see a, a chart that the uh, writer of the textbook has started off. Now, I want to give you a much better idea of what that really should look like on the longer term. And I want to emphasize right away, students, that you can do this on paper or on your computer. Some of you will be much uh, more relaxed or I think comfortable doing this on a computer but others may want to do it otherwise so I'll give you those options but I'm going to set the textbook down okay and I have a nice sheet here prepared beforehand and it will say at the top weather record week one now I want to make sure you can see that really, really well. And on the first column over here, you'll record the date. You record the day that, uh, either the day of or the day after you receive the video link on the email, okay? The reason is you need to record morning and evening recordings for weather. So what you do for the day is you uh, record the low temperature for the day, which is usually in the morning. Watch your weather apps for that. You can use Weather Channel, weather apps on your phone, computers, whatever. Uh, you will record at the, uh, at the end of the day a low temperature and a high temperature. High pressure, low pressure. Now some apps don't provide both, but if you don't have both, just record the same one twice. Whatever readings you can get. But check the readings in the morning and in the afternoon or evening. Note your precipitation, sleet, rain, hail uh, are none. If it's just a nice sunshiny day, hopefully we'll get lots of those. And then, of course, uh, cloud cover in the morning and then cloud cover late afternoon or evening. That's the main gist here. And you do this for two weeks. So this is week one. Notice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days available here. I'll put that down. And here's mine here. And I'm going to do this to students, by the way. And here is week two. And you just keep filling it in. And as I said, you can use this kind of format on paper and you get together with you know your mom, your dad, your sister, brother, whatever you want to do, or on your own, with a ruler, straight edge, uh, uh, a square, whatever you need to do, a pencil or a pen, and do it up. Use the, follow the pattern I have here, or start with the one in the textbook. So I want you to get a good picture of how this works. So you will do this then for the next two weeks. Then when module eight comes, what you'll do then, you'll actually start doing your own weather predictions. And the part, fun part of that will be is that then we can compare by about the uh, second week to the middle of May when we collect this data together, then we, we then can compare your predictions with the professional weather forecasters' predictions. Who's better, more accurate, and right? So, I want you to have fun with this. I really, really do. 
And uh, this is a good way for us to uh, look at how scientists collect data, how they track data, and how they use data and other principles to make predictions. I want us to have fun studying the weather and seeing how God has created such an incredible environment here on planet Earth for us and it's filled with all kinds of variety. Yes, some weather can be frightening or damaging or even life-threatening, but we can also learn how to predict that as well, help people to avoid it. So let's do some important work here. God bless you. Get to it. And I hope you have a really good time with this. Any questions, please feel free to email me. Thank you very much. Have a good day.